Hi everyone, today we're going to be installing, configuring, and learning how to debug PHP scripts using xDebug. xDebug is a PHP extension that provides debugging and profiling capabilities. It's basically using a debugging protocol to show you stack and function traces along with error messages that will show you full parameter displays for user-defined functions, function names, file names, and line indication for member functions. I'm going to be assuming that you already have your LAMP stack set up and that you can see the info.php page. Now a cool thing that the developers at xdebug has set up is a handy dandy wizard. So in order to get to the wizard you go to xdebug.org forward slash wizard.php. This web app basically allows you to take the output for php-i which will have the current configuration of your PHP on the server and based on the output that you paste over here it will actually give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get xdebug set up and configured for your PHP configuration that you currently have so let's get take a look at what kind of a PHP configuration I have so if I run php-i you'll see it'll actually output a whole bunch of information about the current configuration of PHP that I have now this is kind of hard for me to copy and paste. So what I'm actually going to do is redirect the standard output into a file and then take the contents of the file and copy and paste it to the xdebug wizard web app that they have set up. So in order to do that, I'll go take the output for php-i and redirect standard output to xdebug.log. Now in order to grab all the contents from xdebug.log and paste it into my clipboard, I'll use a xclip command. So xclip select clip everything from xdebug.log. So now if I actually go and open up the web app and paste it, you'll see that I have all that server configuration for PHP information paste it onto this text box. So if I go and analyze my info, you'll see that it actually spit out all the information that I'll need with step-by-step -step instructions on how to go about configuring xdebug. So step one over here, it says to download xdebug. So I'll go ahead and I'll download it, save the file. You can see it's a very quick download. So then uh, it's in my downloads folder. So I'll go to change to my downloads folder. And we can see that it's right there as xdebug. And the second instruction over here is to go ahead and unarchive it. So tar extract verbose uh, xdebug. And bam, it's extracted. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's uh, extracted. Uh, so then I'll change into my xdebug folder. And after changing into the folder, it says that I should phpize it. So I'll run the command sudo phpize. It actually went through and it configured these three things. Now this is a very important thing to remember um, for when we're setting up the configuration later on. So step five over here, it says to run configure. So I'll go dot forward configure. It's going to do its magic and go through and configure everything for me and then have to run the make file so sudo make now remember all these steps that i'm taking are all outlined right here this is nothing that i memorized there's nothing that you have to know as long as you go and use the web app it'll give you all the instructions that you will need so now that it's run the make file for me i have to actually copy this file from modules folder which is called xdebug.so to the user lib PHP folder. Now the last step it's asking me to do is to go find php.ini file under CLI and add this line to that text. However, um, because mine's the newer Ubuntu file structure for PHP, it actually doesn't reside in that file. It actually resides in the etc forward slash 
PHP 5 mods available folder so I'll change into the mods available folder list it and this is actually the folder that I'm looking for oh and it doesn't have it here so actually what I'll do is I'll create it um, it's actually called xdbug.ini sudo and then I'll open it up as a super user so sudo sublime xdebug.ini and then I'll go back and I'll grab that piece of information that they had told me to enter in now this is not all um, in order to have it running I still need a few more parameters So now that we've installed xdebug and enabled it for Apache and PHP, what we're going to do is install it on our client editor. So I'm currently using Sublime Text and I'm going to utilize package control to install xdebug client. If you currently don't have package control installed, you can download it here by using this little script and run it on console. So you have Sublime Text 2 or Sublime Text 3. What you'll do is highlight the import instructions and bring it back to sublime text and you press the console command and you paste it in there and press enter once that once that's done sublime should restart and package control should now be installed when you relaunch into it you'll press control shift p to launch a drop down menu from sublime and type in install package Once you have the list of packages available, you're going to search for xdebug. And there's only one choice for xdebug client, so we'll install that. And now xdebug is now installed. In the root folder for your project, you'll want to save your project somewhere you can somewhere you can access it easily. I've currently saved this one on my desktop as a test file. And once that's completed, you open that file. And add these settings to the JSON array. So that's settings debug, xdebug, and then the current URL you'll be testing on. So mine's currently alias to labs.dev. I can change these to whatever my alias is uh, forwarding to. So I'll leave it as labs.dev because that's what we'll be working with and we'll take a look at the site just to make sure it's loading fine so now that we see that it's working fine we'll go back to our source code and we can add a breakpoint where line 30 is inside the conditional statement Once you've done that, you go to Tools, Xdebug, and start debugging. You get two new frames where you have Xdebug Context, Xdebug Watch, your various breakpoints you might have set, and the stack. So now we'll go back to that page, press Refresh, and you'll see that it doesn't load completely because we've set the breakpoint here. What we can do from here is keep track of our val variable, which is being set here and being changed throughout this statement here. So you can right click, go to xdebug, and step into the next line. And you'll see that it's initialized as a where am I string.
step into the next one and you can see a change once more let's run to the new line of once we complete the line 32 we'll see it be reassigned to it was null And once you press run, what will happen is it'll run the application until the next breakpoint or the ending. Run to line will run until the line you've clicked. Step into runs the current function and stops right after. Step over will step over the current function and stops right away. Step out will step out of the current function and stop right after. Stop will no longer debug and detach will also stop debugging. So we'll just detach it and I'll clear breakpoints. Now the web page loads fine with no breakpoints.